hello everyone welcome back to the channel as you can see this is another HP one of the great machine from HP the model number 15s dash EQ 1516 SA HP always does make the actual model number very difficult to read it but anyway today I'm going to show you how to enable the USB boot regardless to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 especially how you can enable this laptop for Windows 11 so I'm going to show you I'm going to get into the BIOS change the settings include TPM secure boot and finally it would be ready for Windows 11 installation all right so first let's check the model number that's the model as you can see all right so now we're going to get into the focus first of all we're going to connect the charger and at this moment I'm going to install Windows 10 anyway where I will change the settings for Windows 11 first make sure you do have the correct bootable USB thumb drive and then make sure you connect your charger due to this process because this is very ideal to do that alright so now I'm going to press the power button straight away I'm going to go back to F10 to get into mouse sometimes couple of attempts it takes all right so once you've done that you're going to see this screen which is called bios page and from the security we're going to do the fast changes can you see it says tpm device if your one is hidden then you need to select available and hit enter then tpm state also you need to hit enter to make it enable so hit enter if it disable just make it enable once you've done this too it's pretty good then jump into the next option which is boot so first option is USB boot if it is not enable then make it enable and hit enter from here if you go to the fourth one it says secure boot that's the one if that is also disabled you have to make it enable and hit enter and it's saved now rest of the things you don't have to change anything just go to exit the right one and then save the changes and let the system restart once it restart keep pressing F9 to get into temporary boot menu as you can see change boot device folder by F9 and from here as you can see the second one USB boot device UEFI that is my bootable Windows 10 UEFI uh, setup and now it's going to take a little bit of time to load it up and right now it's reading the actual bootable USB thumb drive the speed based on your computer then USB if USB 3.0 is going to be much more quicker from now on it's pretty simple either it's Windows 10 or 11 okay so right now honestly I'm installing Windows 10 in UEFI environment with the secure boot enable once I done that then in future you can just go to Microsoft web page and follow the instruction for Windows 11 and you don't have to set up anything manually to your BIOS because your BIOS is almost ready for Windows 11 anyway all right so from here I'm going to choose the language then time and currency format and keyboard it's all about your personal choice it depends on your region I'm in UK so I'm going to choose the United Kingdom and rest of the setup is pretty simple so I'm going to keep the visual one and you can see rest of the video so if there is anything you need to know you can enjoy it just one more important things that I forgot to tell you guys I am using external mouse okay so don't be surprised if your trackpad is no longer working when you come to this page this is pretty simple you don't need to worry about it you can use any wired or wireless mouse to complete this process once the setup is done then manually we can go to device manager and update the trackpad driver it's pretty simple so just carry on with setup either if your trackpad does work or doesn't work don't worry
So once the installation done, we have to deal with the Windows 10 S mode. As you can see, this one shows Windows 10 Home S mode, something like that. The reason is we turn on the TPM, we active the TPM and secure boot is on. And that's why by default Windows gives you Windows 10 safe mode, okay? It's pretty simple what you need to do. We need to go to this PC properties and from there activation. Once you go to the activation, you can see there it says switch to Windows 10 home mode free of cost. You have to log into your Microsoft account and don't click here because if you click here, it's going to cost you money, 119 for no reason. So close this page and click on go to store. Once you go to store, you're going to find the option which is free. Click on get and as you can see, I logged into my account. All right, so you have to log in. It doesn't ask you for any credit card or anything. So click on get. Once you click on get, it's going to give you the installation to change the Windows 10 activation from S mode to home mode. It's going to take a couple of minutes and then pretty simple. Once you check, you're going to find out you switch it from S to home. And then we can install any sort of driver or third party uh, publisher software once you change it to home mode. Okay, so still the trackpad is not working, so we're gonna uh, update the trackpad driver, include the other drivers as well. So click on this PC, and once you do right click, you're gonna find manage, and from here we can get into device manager, which is that one, and from here the yellow mark, which is driver missing sign. Once you right click and do automatic search, the Windows gonna find the correct drivers for your laptop. You have to make sure your laptop is connected to internet. That's all you needed. So still I'm using external mouse. There are a few of them missing. I'm gonna do update now, search automatic, and it's gonna get it done one by one. It says unknown device, but don't worry, just do right click, follow the same process. One of them definitely for the trackpad. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of time to get everything downloaded and installed. And then I will show you the trackpad is working and everything would be done here. And we're gonna finally do a research on Windows 11, if this is compatible or not. As I said, the laptop is absolutely ready for Windows 10 activation and Windows 11 installation. So the trackpad is working now, as you can see, I'm using it. I don't need to use any more external one, which is great. Now let's finally check if the settings is all right for Windows 11 or not. We're gonna get into the Microsoft website and we'll try to testify our machine if this is compatible and ready for Windows 11 or not. As you can see, it says it's absolutely fine for Windows 11. Uh, pretty much that's everything. Still, if you do have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Thanks.